Hi everyone, welcome to another Nature Walks video. Are you drawing me on a much milder day today than it was the last time I did a video? Um, and I'm basically in one of my other local woodlands uh, nearby to where I live. Uh, and I want to show you today a mushroom uh, that you can't possibly mix up with anything else. It's a stunning mushroom that's really abundant at this time of year, sort of late January, uh, but it's probably been out for now a good couple of weeks already. Uh, but easy one for you to, to get to know and spot as you're going for a walk. So to show you where I am, now, I'm in a, a nice bit of woodland and um, it's quite a young section here. You can see there's quite a, a thin bit of canopy cover. Um, so bits of light coming through and actually it's quite a damp woodland with loads of branches that have collapsed down onto the floor. And these are really important features for this mushroom. So it really likes damp woodland conditions with lots of branches on the floor. So without further ado, let's show you it. Um, and the location of it is everywhere basically it's all around me so you might just see these little pops of red one there one there there and if i turn a little bit more there's another one there there and up here i mean it really is absolutely everywhere and so let's have a bit of a, a closer look at it oh, get up in here wow there you go so this one here Boom, beautiful color, beautiful reddish color. This is called Scarlet Elf Cup um, and a really well suited name. Scarlet because of the red coloration, cup because of the cup formation that you get here. The elf part actually comes from folklore. So it's a bit of a folklore that when elves were, uh, wood elves would wake up in the morning, they'd find these scarlet elf cups and they would drink the dew from inside of them as if they were their little goblets or cups for them. So quite sweet, um, but they come in different sizes. You can see this one's quite small. And this one is quite large over here, but they all typically tend to grow very low to the ground on fallen logs and branches like this. And they don't have to be as big as this. They can be much smaller. Um, stuff like this would be perfectly fine. Or a bit of something like this would absolutely be fine for it to grow on. Um, but it's really important that the soil and the sort of conditions are damp and you can sort of see here really damp leaf litter. Um, so really easy one to sort of like keep an eye out for when it's low to the ground. And typically where you find one, you tend to find a lot of them. So just to demonstrate how that is, look at this in this woodland here. So that little patch I've already shown you, but on the other side of the path, look there, all growing up this log. I mean, really is absolutely everywhere. Look, another one just underneath the leaf litter there, growing all up the log. Oh, look at those, those are whoppers. Look at those whoppers there. Fantastic. And the final thing um, I want to show you is that they don't always come in red. Occasionally, you can find a really beautiful different coloration. And I've got some here I'm really excited to show you. So just down here is the orange version of it. Wow, look at those. Aren't they crazily colorful? Beautiful like apricot-y coloration. Oh, you can see this one started to rot through. And wildlife do eat these. Oh, there's a scarlet one there, just underneath as a comparison. Uh, yeah, wildlife do, do eat these, particularly um, small mammals uh, and slugs and snails will eat these um, on damper and milder days. So um, they're quite a nice treat for a bit of wildlife to come across. So anyway, it's a nice easy one for you to look out for. Have a look anywhere on a path, as I said, open damp woodland with lots of branches on the ground. Great chance that you're going to come across these. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to have a look at the Devon Wildlife Tours website for our walks and tours and hopefully see you at sometime soon. All right, bye.